Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ferodin. Oh God. What have we done in this world to, to deserve all this? No movie. No concert. No sport events. No social gathering. Limited time to work. Now that I've just said those things, the video of today, it's all about wigs. My people, let's learn how to, to wear our wigs. The problem that I've realized with us African, you can never want to learn from another person. I see even on social media, you know, when I post some video doing my makeup, you know, they don't even want to click there to say, my sister, you are doing a great job. You are, you are helping us African who are here in Africa, you know, at least you are doing a great job there in Europe, or, you know, teaching us this thing like makeup. Uh-uh. They can't do those things. Instead, they will look. They won't even comment. Then after that, they will go to the Chinese shop. You know, and then they will go and buy this fake what, fake makeup. You know, and then they will come on Facebook. You know, looking at it, just in a different way. You know, instead of learning from other people, so that you know, even them, they should know how to what, to put makeup properly. You know, give other people some compliments. You know, that's why you see that a lot of girls there on Facebook. They will see somebody just dressed good. You know. They will see somebody wearing a nice wig. They will run also to the Chinese shop and then they will just go and buy this what it, Chinese wigs, you know. Instead of putting the wigs with with glue, you know. It's not all the wigs that needs to be what to be put with glue, you know. What they just do, they will just buy it from the shop and then they will just throw it in the head, you know. You don't do like that, you know. Take off those wigs, you wash them, moisturize them, put perf not perfume, you know. Spray so that they should look uh, attractive you know i'm not trying to bash anyone you know but it's just like embarrassing you know you'll find that you know when they put on these hair pieces you know you'll find that it starts in the middle here when they put on their wigs instead of bringing them here in the forehead here they'll put the wigs from the middle of the of the head here not knowing that if they bend down you know it can fall you know you can't put on a wig like that always when you see like some advertisement or some video clips Learn how to like other people's video, you know. Learn how to learn from other people's video. It's not always about you, you know. If you see me uploading a video, you know, at least they say something. Oh, my sister, congratulations. At least you are teaching us who are back here in Africa, you know, how to put on wigs, you know, how to put on makeup, not being quiet. And then after that, tomorrow you go back, and then you put the wrong makeups on your skins, you know. You don't want to learn from us who are here in what in, in Europe. I'm not saying that maybe there are, there are no people in Africa who are not who, who cannot do makeup. There are very good people in Africa who can do makeup, but some, you know, they don't want even to learn, you know. They will just say, Oh, that one, if she can do it, if she can put on makeup, which means even me I'll put on makeup. It's not about competition. That's why you see that we African we are always jealous about each other. For example, if I'm wearing nice, give me some compliments. Just because you gave me those compliments does not mean that maybe I'm above you. Mm -mm. At least, you know, it's showing that I'm doing something that is better. So that even you, you can learn something from that. We learn from each other. So it's the same thing like with these wigs. I don't want when I go on my social media to my friend, friend list, you know, to see somebody who's wearing a wig which starts in the middle here and then the hair is just outside, you know. Uh-uh, don't do those things. Look at me, you see? I'm posing for you. You, you can see that my wig, is, it does not start from the forehead. If, not the forehead. I mean like in the middle of the head here. You see, I pulled this wig to be here. You know, as you can see, I have got a round face. You know, you look at the shape of your face. You know, you pull the wig in the, in the, fore, in the forehead, you know, so that it should match. You see, you can see even when I'm posing, it shows that I'm a normal person. You know, look, you see? It shows that it's sitting on the right right place. So guys, I hope that you are going to learn how to put on those wigs. You know, it's 2020, you know. We cannot be what, go walking around with wigs which are not good, you know. Wigs which are about to be falling down on the ground. I know some people will criticize me saying that, oh, she thinks that she knows everything. What and what? It's not that maybe I know everything. Even me, I'm learning from other bigger YouTuber, you know, to become a better YouTuber, you know. So see you guys in my next video for those ones who are very good at, at learning from others. Because even me, I learn from others. When I learn from others, even me, I, you know, 
I try my level best also so that the next time even me, you know, they should say, oh, that African girl from what, from Namibia, oh, she's there on YouTube, go and watch her channel, you know, that Namibian girl, you know, she's bringing, she's bringing improvement to, to us African here in Africa, you know, that's what I want, you know, not a situation whereby I see, I see my sisters in the street, you know, when you look at the wig, the wig is about to fall down, you know, then when you look at the person, she's wearing a nice wig, but the problem, the wig is not sitting in the right place. So see you guys in my next video and I hope that you're going to take this advice and I'm not and I hope that nobody should bash me for saying my my opinion because everybody has got her own opinion so bye guys